Hey everyone, it's me Arthur Caden. Today we're at Madison Square Park in New York and despite the snow, everybody is happy because it is International Happiness Day and we'll be bringing you an interview with the star of HBO's Looking, Jonathan Groff, who's signing the happiness wall behind me right before its season finale. Get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. Everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. I've got one of the most talented guys on television doing Valerie Cherish impressions. I was, for me. I was. It's it is an HBO say. brother sister relationship. Exactly, so. exactly. The I'm star of looking, Jonathan Groff. We were just talking about season finale this Sunday. Yeah. I love the show. I was telling you at Frankie Alvarez in studio. Yeah. Your show is pioneering. It's great. Thank you. And season two's over. We're I all know. disappointed. What can I people know. expect? Well, I'm really, really excited for the episode that's airing on Sunday. It's uh, 10 o'clock on HBO, and it's our series. It's our season finale, and a lot goes down, and I'm really excited for the world to see it. This yeah. show has become such a trademark, especially for LGBT rights. When you see the reaction that you've gotten from this show and what it's meant to people, it's gotta be such an exciting thing as an artist. It really is, it really is. When, when we set out to make the show, we wanted to do a show about gay characters where they weren't, um, you know, like the comedic relief or the tragic figure or sexually sensationalized, but to show them as human beings. And the response to the show has been amazing. And it's been great, especially here in New York, because I'm walking around the street so much, more than when I'm in my car in LA, to have people stop me on the street and talk about what the show means to them. It's been amazing. One of the things Frankie was talking to me about, you play Patrick, obviously, but your 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 cast is like a family. He talked yeah. about it how the chemistry not only is great on screen, but it's also off screen. Talk to me about having that family-like environment on the yeah, show. Yeah, we love each other. I mean, from the actors, to the writers, to the producers, to our crew, it's a mostly San Francisco crew because we shoot the whole thing on location there. Everybody is in love with each other. Everybody's in love. We're dying to go back for a third season, we're waiting to hear, so hopefully that happens because we just, we really, it's like such a joyful experience. It's International Happiness Day today, and you were just signing the wall. I was Talk signing to... the happiness wall, <laughs> making my goals on this, the International Day of Happiness. Uh, it feels good. You have some exciting projects ahead. You're doing Off-Broadway. Obviously, tonight's a series finale of Glee. This is crazy, and yeah. you've been part of that. Talk to me about the Off-Broadway show and also saying goodbye to Glee. Yeah, I'm in a show called Hamilton, which is at the Public Theater until May the 4th, and then it moves to Broadway at the Richard Rogers Theater in July. Uh, and it's it's a joy. It's an incredible group of people and an amazing, amazing show. Lin-Manuel Miranda, who did In the Heights, wrote it. Tommy Kale directed it. It's the same director of that, and it's an amazing sort of game-changing theater piece. It's so fun to do. I play the King of England. It's a blast. Saying goodbye to Glee. To see goodbye that, to Glee, yeah. It's that crazy. Was, yeah, it's, it's, I can't believe it's been, they've been working on it for seven years. It's six seasons, but seven years. And it's the end of an era. That show, talking about like happiness, I feel like that show brought so much joy to people over the last six years. And I think it redefined uh, arts education in a major way and it made singing in school cool again and uh, it's sad it's sad to see it go but I know that it's gonna it's gonna I think you know live on in reruns and thank God that show happened I feel like it really it really uh, made a difference as someone who's had success on TV but also success on Broadway talk to me about the difference between the two worlds um, it's it, they're both great I mean the, the experience of live theater is unique because you have an audience, but the experience of sort of TV and film is unique because you get to be really intimate and like the way we're talking now. Uh, so they're both, they're both very different mediums uh, and I love them both. Congratulations, everybody Thank check you. out the season finale of Looking. They better bring you back for season three. I know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed.